Well, uh, how I met Channel Pozo was through my, my Mario Bowser. You know Mario Mario Bowser? The sex trumpet player. Well, he and I had worked together with Cab Calloway, and I told him I needed a conga player. He said, I have the guy for you, but he doesn't speak English. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, bring him anyway. The, uh, up to that time, in 1947, there hadn't been any, any uh, Cuban influences in our music too much. Maybe with a little bit with maybe Duke Ellington, Congo Bravo, uh, Caravan, or something like that. But there was never any concerted effort to bring uh, Afro-Cuban music into jazz. And I had always been a big fan of uh, Afro-Cuban music because, because of having been played with, with Alberto Sacara. You know him? The flautist? Well, I played maracas and trumpet with that man, so I had the ear for his music. So, after Channel Pozo, after what happened in the, uh, uh, after Channel Pozo, everybody started getting Congos. And it became a part, of, it is now, right now, uh, Afro-Cuban music is just a, as much, I'll say, just as much a part of the current pop trend is the blues because they use all the, the instruments of Afro Cuban as a great uh, influence on, on the music in the United States. Okay. There is a profound influence right now in American music with, with uh, Cuban background. The current crop of of uh, what do you call it, salsa or whatever, whatever they call it, but it's still uh, uh, basically Cuban music. Uh, it has made such a profound effect on the music now that if you don't know that music, you can hardly get a job in the United States. If you don't know, if you don't have a that kind of rhythm. That they have the, a watered down version of it. But but I was lucky enough to have Channel Pozo to teach me the fundamentals. And after you learn the fundamentals, it, 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 the rest of it comes, you know, it, it, regardless of what happens, uh, it comes all right. But uh, American music has, uh, uh, I, I, sh I would think that uh, Cuban music has. Out of all of the music of this hemisphere that has come into jazz, our music, Cuban music has the biggest, made the biggest impact on the music. I did my first time here, and I've been playing this music for 35, almost 40 years, and I've never been here. And you live in today? You live in today? Tonight, I think. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah, for us, we were very lucky. Because it's like coming home. Yeah. For us, it's been, we were very fortunate because we, we, are, we have not yet finished a documentary. We are making different documentaries on different aspects of Cuban music. Uh -huh. uh, not just a show in Cuban music, Cubans, it has no sense. But trying to analyze musical, historical musical groups, social background. Uh, it's way of developing a different Cuba is line. very rich in different types of Cuban music. You know, like uh, the bolero, the santo, the arara, the yangero, the uh, uh, baraco, yeah, yeah, all this, all this, all, all, and all different. It's beautiful. It's the same as in the United States jazz. Like we, in, in, in Kansas City, you play one type of music. New Orleans, New York, Chicago. 